we'll do a little bit of a Dave sprung something on me, but it's a pretty good idea. We're going to draw... He thought this was my hat for tonight. Yeah, Dave was just walking around with a hat with some like, numbers on some paper, and I have no idea what he's doing. I um, thought it was like a Chinese order he's going to make or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, we're going to do a random. Through. So Phil's going to draw for Team Europe. I'm going to draw for USA. And we've got the numbers. We're going to pretend like a hypothetical. That's a match. Who we think would win. And here, this match might actually happen in real life. And we'll forget to find out who's right here if not. <laughs> so, And we can agree as well, by the way, if we feel that yeah. one player is better than the other. Do you want to go okay, first? I'll go first. Let's see how I go. Okay. Number six or nine. <laughs> yeah. Definitely six. So. Or is it? Your it's writing. my writing. Yeah, that's a six. Six, okay. Which gives, Three, gives me oh. John Ram. John Ram, and I got Brian Harmon. <laughs> okay. That's a that's a two. John, it's two good, but John Ram as well. Yeah, no, he's pretty steady. Yeah, he, he's got he's got everything covered, doesn't he? But saying that, like, it's not like Brian Harmon can't. He's so steady. Complete two different, completely different golfers. Yeah, like John Mega. Ram still wins that though. He is... I'm still going to go John Ramp, but I think... He's such a complete golfer. Yeah. No, it's not to say that Harmon can't beat him, obviously. Yeah. He's a, he's an, he won the Open. He can compete and beat the best in the world. But I do think... I don't think anybody wants to play John Ram. Anybody in the American team sees their name against his, they're not happy about that. Do you think he'd be, in your opinion, top points winner? Yeah, but... Out I of think, everyone? I think he could be. There's he would be up there, something about there? that Spanish... And the Ryder Cup also. Yeah. You know, your Olaf Thavos, Savies all through the years. Garcia just went a bunch of points. Yeah, I don't see anybody else on that list that kind of, well, getting as many points as him. And it's, if we've often said about... Schaffler it, could be surprised that he could make a lot of points. Yeah, he's not going to miss too many. <laughs> I think um, we talked about John Ram. You know, he just has that... He almost has every facet of his game to an elite level. We, yeah. talk, we talked before about players that are maybe... A little bit shallower. We generally find they're better with the driver, the longer clubs. Yeah, like Rory. Like McIlroy. Maybe the wedge is not quite as good as somebody else. He's still phenomenal, but maybe not quite as good. And you get somebody who's a little bit steeper in the golf ball. Maybe a, you know, a savvy of years gone by or somebody like that. And they might wing the driver a bit more. Yeah. But their irons are phenomenal. Their wedges are phenomenal. Yeah. Um. Be interesting. John Rahm's just like he's got it all. Kind of good yeah. putter too. Yeah. Short game. Yeah, although talking about potting, if anybody pottered uh, a Sheffield to put halfway decent this season, I know the guy would have been out of sight. It's like yeah, Brian Harmon's putting display at the Open was pretty special. He brings that into Ryder Cup. It could be annoying for anybody that he faces, <laughs> yeah. like because he make everything. Okay, um, so right, we'll we'll put we're both thinking John Ram wins that one. If it I put these back in in case right. we get, let me shake them up though so you don't pick out the same ones. That wouldn't be too good. Give me another. Right, right. <laughs> 